Hey guys, it's Trista with Tried and True by Trista. I have a really fun video to share with you today. So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into my crafting club called The Craft Exchange. I started this group back in 2013. So we have been together a really long time, but I don't often share kind of what's going on and how we do our projects and everything. So I thought that you might enjoy it today. This is a really insanely creative group of women and they give me so much joy and inspiration and it's just fun to kind of nerd out about crafting techniques sometimes. So anyway, I'm gonna share it with you today. It's a longer video than normal, so bear with me, but there are 14 different crafts in this video all themed around national parks. So how this works is for my ladies, I give them a theme challenge each time before we get together. And so they make projects based on the theme. So for this month, the theme was national parks. So you will see 14 different projects. So they've all interpreted it in different ways and they're really, really fun projects and mine included. But you'll kind of see we have a lot of fun. Now I will tell you, the video quality is terrible. So I am so sorry, the video quality is terrible, but I'm gonna overlay some actual photos of the project. So hopefully that will kind of give you a better idea. But I just wanted to kind of bring you into our world for a minute and show you how much fun we have with this. And I hope you enjoy. And if you like national parks, then maybe this will inspire you. There's some really, really insanely fun stuff. So come on along. Before we kick that off though, if you're new to my channel, I like to do DIYs and crafting how-tos and sometimes some product reviews or experiences. But generally uh, what I hope to share with you is crafts that I've tried and maybe failed or maybe not, or maybe I've gotten the swing of it. And I wanna give you tips so that if you try those projects as well, it will shorten your time frame to learn how to do those. So I'm not an expert but I'm happy to share my tips. So come on along and watch. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I hope that you'll definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when I have another fun video to share. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what did you guys think of the National Park theme? I loved it. You loved it? I loved it. I loved it. I wasn't loved it. sure what I would do for it for a while. I enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. Vanessa, did you like it? I did. Yeah? Good, everybody oh, liked the theme. Here. That's awesome. It had a lot of options. I mean, we had worse Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we had some things where I'm like, oh. I mean, we've had sorry. worse ones. <laughs> hey, Tennessee, did you like the theme? Loved it all. We loved it. I'm a national Hi. park person, so my bucket list to travel to all of them, so. Cool, okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. I have... Paula as number one. Oh, first of all, we have some new folks here. So I have to give the speech. The speech I is, this is not an art show. This is a crafting Thank God. club. <laughs> this is a crafting <laughs> club. So we That's encourage amazing. you to bring your fails. The point of this group is so that you take time for yourself to do something, but you're doing enough of the project to where you feel like you've got a little expertise. Mm -hmm. with it. it gives you a, gives you a reason to try something new or maybe something that you, Paula does a lot of jewels, so this might give her inspiration to try a new project. Or Sharon likes to do glass, but I don't think she did glass this time. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. But it kind of gives you a little inspiration to do something different with maybe, uh, like if you really like sewing or something. So anyway. Fun. Right, Paula's going first. Be better. Hi. So Hi. my original plan was to make candles. I got over that. My <laughs> original plan. <laughs> so I have been wanting to make something since Sevy did this years ago. And so this is my ode to Sevy. I had a car wreck Mother's Day weekend. A bad one. Thankfully, I'm okay. But my mom and I were supposed to go to town, so she stayed with me oh. overnight, and she helped a little bit with okay. this craft exchange. So like? this is, okay. my husband's like, how the hell does that relate to parks, whatever? Well, I envision <laughs> parks, I invite vision camping, bags, picnic, flora, fauna. So this is my ode to national park. So there should be a package in Tennessee. Tristis yep. is a little different and I made an extra one of, yes, would I do it again? Some of the resources are made from an old throw pillow in my house. Or da 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 da, Japanese not guys. <laughs> they all have a tag where I had, I had a few Americans. 
So Trista needs, okay, Trista, turn yours around. So Trista, so Trista's is a little different. So can I show that, can I borrow yours? So the fabric, here's the fabric. This fabric was a pillow that I cut up. Trista's, the back of us, Trista, do you know what the back of that is from? Your pocket? Oh, this, yes. So Trista, I she meant this so Trista has a Aww. suede pocket on the front of hers because she gave me That's some beautiful. belts and jackets for her mother's to reposh Aww. for Aww. earrings. And so that is a pocket from her mom's vest. And I don't know that you'll use it, but the, the fact, even the fabric that I use, guys, some of the fabric is from Michael Landstash and there's yeah. Rockle Paper Company fabric. Oh, and Sebby, really can you good. show yours? Because yours is pretty special. Okay. Um, I love my the stitching. Okay, so my mom helped me with some of the stitching. Sebby's I did in rainbow. So the back of Sebby's is a black and white or a, a stripe. That's from my son's shirt I cut up. Black and white, of course. For Sebby. So mine are not reversible like Sebby's were. And then the front of it is an old tablecloth from the 1960s and neighborhood. Oh, oh my God. I also used so my stamps to make explore. Oh, I, love I love the tag. Oh, really so I use beads from my vintage bead collection. So I had a lot. So these were made with love. They are not pretty. They are not perfect. They are pretty. Um, but I had, I spent a whole weekend with my mom making them. And so one thing I did that I would do again is I actually sealed the thread it's uh, embroidery thread. We sealed it with spray, spray stuff, so it won't spray, spray check. So I learned about that from a friend who helped me recover kitchen chairs. So, nice. so I bought nothing. I loved I love it. Yours it. is made from a, I love the rifle paper company print. Yours is made from a dishcloth. All right, thank you. I love them. I love it. it. Okay, so so happy. happy. That was one of my favorite projects. Because Sharon gave me hers, and I have loved it ever since. So the only thing I did different is I made one for my, for my best friend for her birthday, which is in a few weeks, and I made a leather back for her. Ooh. Ooh. It was hard. I'm improving my skills. So, well, yeah, thank you, Paul. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, next up is Kathy. Basically, <laughs> we live in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and it's the number one most visited national park in the United States, mainly because it's free. That's right. So, <laughs> We go just whenever we feel like it, and we don't have to pay. And, and we're close. Yeah, yeah, we're very close. close. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, like that. Gorgeous. Yeah, we don't understand how much beautiful is because I, at one point I was sitting there going, it was easier, but oh, yeah, it took me more time. I like that. So that tree is kind of special. There's a lot of photographers in town that post on this 865 area code. And it's just the Klingman's yeah. Dome tree, and the guy takes pictures of it all the time. And so I copied pictures of his off the internet. And so oh, like there's the tree, but I like these colors better. So wow. nice. kind of, it's pretty. And, it's so pretty. You my did great daughter, job. Well, my daughter and her friend were doing this and they did it with like Japanese anime where you get the picture frame and the black is Sharpie. So I just laid the glass on top of the picture frame and colored Sharpie on top of it. But then I just put it on and said, okay, well, I'm gonna make these mountains and then those mountains and then these. But mm -hmm. it's hard because it's called the Smoky Mountains. And so with this, it was very difficult to do shading. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do shading. Like those pictures that I think Trista posted, that lady does the funny pictures. Yeah. the posters yeah. it's like okay we're not gonna do shading we're just gonna do colors but yeah, yeah. whatever you put on first is what you're gonna see so if you put something behind it then you can't see it. it's like pancake paint That's yeah really, really cool so it was like all i had to do was paint That's on top really of this that. picture yeah. but I struggled until then I finally was like, okay, now I like this. Good job. That's beautiful. I love so, it. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Cool. That's really good. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad Jessica didn't come so I can keep her. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? It does now. <laughs> New rules. The only yeah. trouble I've got in front of mine when I a couple of my trial and error ones is you paint at night and it's like, okay, it needs to dry and I'll take it to the post office after work. So they're laying in my car drying. <laughs> and I, But I had already packaged up, okay, I can fit these frames into this box, had everything. 
But the little piece of paper that comes in a picture frame, I didn't put it in there. And oh. so the screw on the back of the picture frame scratched a little piece of the paint. So if you put a little piece of paper, then it won't get scratched. It's <laughs> amazing. Would you do it again? That is, yeah. <laughs> the paint I already had from, you know, years of acrylic paint. But when I had to mix a couple of the colors, I'm like, oh, that looks like poo in the sky now. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, this doesn't look like, yeah. So it just, wow. Is it like Lucy in the sky? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Okay, everybody's waiting. Hi. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh -huh. Okay, next up is Sebby. Yay! You have a little helper there. She's a Oh, she's a Oh, she's a helper. 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 Oh, it's, yeah, it's so cute. Cool. It's with um, just polyester oh, stuffing. Oh, yeah, oh polyfill. So great. So, fun fact, oh, I actually oh, made these years ago for, oh, I made similar ones for Delilah's Nursery. I love Segura Cacti <laughs> and Segura National Park in Arizona. So I was like, I know which one I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I just needed to make the time to do it. So oh, I did two shit. different fabrics. I did the cool pattern one. And then I did the green one. So fun. So super exciting. I made these years ago for Delilah's Nursery. Yeah, I remember. I was like, oh, these are adorable. I absolutely love them. They're yeah. probably one of my favorite crafts to do. How long did it take to make for each of them? Oh, it took an entire afternoon of just sewing Ooh. and like, it's just, it's very <laughs> tedious because you have to go through like curves and then turning it inside out, stuffing them. It's tedious. Most of the supplies, I didn't have to buy any supplies because <laughs> this is all from my own stash. Mm -hmm. So I had two large bolts of both of these fabrics, and I was like, well, I guess this is what I'm doing. So I cut it, I freehanded the pattern. The pattern's completely freehanded, not free. <laughs> freehanded the pattern and just went about it. Cost for items. You free. Take those, like, <laughs> yeah. You're fine. That's the best. <laughs> if I had the time, when I did the ones for Delilah's bedroom, I actually put the cactus spikes in it. Oh like the little spikes. Oh, yeah. oh. Like the time, like I was nesting when I was doing those. Mm -hmm. So I had all of the time. Like she wasn't here yet. <laughs> 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 now that she's here, she's like right there. Mama, can I sew? Can I do it? Can I do this? Can I yes. sew? And it's like, so that's the only thing that I would do different is that I would actually take the time and like use, get my twine out and actually do the spikes. I possibly put like a little bloom on the top of them. I really wanted to do a bloom, but I just didn't have the fabric at the time. Would I make them again? Yes. 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 I'm planning on making, I already had someone that was like, I need those in your house. And I'm like, I got you. Yeah, that's it. I grew up in Middle Tennessee at the park in our town all the time. I love being in the woods and stuff. But for this, I was like, what am I going to do for this? I don't know. But I'm a mixed media painter. So I was like, I'll just paint something. That'd be really cool. And I do a lot of abstract work. So I challenged myself to be a little more realistic with these. And I drove myself a little crazy with it, but that's okay. So I have this book called Scenic Wonders of America. It's like a super old Reader's Digest book that was given to me by a sweet older lady who's also an artist at our church. And it has these amazing, oh, wow. super old photos of like parks all over the United States. I was like, I'm gonna look at these pictures and I'm gonna make, you know, artistic license versions of, of these for the exchange. In addition to the paintings that I did, there are some photos in there. Three years ago, I think it was, I don't know how long ago. I got to go to the Haleakala Crater in Maui. And it's, you know, there's Haleakala National Park. And it was so stinking foggy that day that you couldn't see more than like 300 feet ahead of you. So there were no panoramic vistas that day, but there were, amazing vegetation so you also have 
Oh my gosh. Some photographs. Oh, oh, so wow. it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Mm-hmm. From Holly Akala. Oh, and uh, Paula got a few extra photos because I'm doing painting for her when we're in Honduras next week or two weeks. Because she, can I tell the story? What? I that you were so excited about yours that, that you had oh, gotten I sent the it. You did send it. Oh, you sent it. I sent it. Oh, somebody has the one she was super proud of. And so she whoever has share. the one with, with the beach, I forgot who I sent it to. Um, I almost kept it because I'll keep much. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is the best thing I've ever done. I'm keeping it. But then I sent it. So oh, you're welcome. So cool. It's really pretty. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So what did you use to make these? So, uh, let's good grief. I'm a mixed media painter, so every, different things go into different paintings, but these are most acrylic paints, oil pastels, and chalk pastels. Most of the final layer is chalk pastel. I like doing lots of layers, and I like doing lots of subtle texture in my work, yeah. and these were a lot more realistic than I've been doing the last year or so, so I was a little... I get perfectionist when I do realistic, <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, it's not good enough, and I almost, I almost threw one of them away, but it oh. pulled through. Like, oh. I seriously no, finished with this one. They're gorgeous. Those are yeah. really beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely Happy gorgeous. Would you do it again? That's cool. That I would do it again. I, I I really want to do it again. I want to get better at. I love landscapes, um, but I usually do more abstracted landscapes and I want to get better at more realistic ones. I used to do realistic watercolor landscapes back in college and I kind of want to get back into that sort of thing. So I would definitely do it again. Excellent. And what would you do different next time? I would not drive myself crazy. Yes, <laughs> Famous last word. I, mean, yeah. I probably will. Yeah. I would try to be a little looser, a little less picky about what it looks like because it doesn't have to be perfect. They don't yeah. match the pictures in the book perfectly, but they're still fun. It's okay. So gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Thank I you. love it. They're pretty cool. I love it. Okay, next up is Katie. Hi! Yay, Katie! There's a little extra, like, variation of the project for <laughs> the birthday girl in there. She's a lot of her. Of course, it's like the most amazing packaging. <laughs> Always. Hey, hey, that's what I do, right? So it should be good. Yes. <laughs> Did, um... Oh my God, she's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I made everybody a set of travelers notebooks. The labels on the front, actually, it's Arwen's calligraphy. You know, she's so good at that. So the labels on the front are actually Arwen's. But I made everybody a set of five Travelers, ah, except for Delilah, who got snail journals because she is raising snails. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the funny thing is, Delilah's oh. not even over here, and I am stoked about this <laughs> snail journal. Cheers over here going, she does this all the time. She's she amazing. Look at it. <laughs> I want to okay. so um, say that I wanted to make the books. Like I knew I wanted to do this and learn like oh what, what kind of needle you needed. And you use a jeans needle, a 110, 18 jeans needle to be able to sew through the cardstock and the paper. So I like researched that. And then my original plan was that I was going to print just what you guys see as the black part, uh, the black lines and stuff on here on my laser printer through my laminator with some foil. And I was gonna foil all the parts that you see that are black and then watercolor them, except for the fact that it looked, the watercolor didn't work on the cardstock. Like I was gonna have to buy a whole set of watercolor paper to do it. And then I didn't like the watercolor paper with the white paper inside. So I ended up instead coloring it on my computer and printing it on my inkjet and then putting it, then sewing it together with paper inside. And then my favorite thing ever is this thing is called a crocodile corner chomper. And, oh, that's so fun. Yeah. and it has two different sizes so you can round the corner either a quarter inch or a half an inch and this is the half an inch round and it makes such a difference in the corners it oh, makes oh, it yeah. look so much more finished when you do them like this 
And then, so I made it into like a standard size. So if any of you guys have like a leather or a felt cover that has the elastics to hold the traveler's notebooks, these will fit inside. And so I did them with different parks on them. Everybody has the same set. It's the different, um, some different parks. And then one that has a whole bunch of parks on there. And you guys can put pictures inside or journal or your grocery lists or whatever inside. I just hope they get used inside there but I love this project and I've already made one for my I've made two for myself already I'm taking an online class for it's called five things and at Allie Edwards I use the inside I printed off this thing that you could download from a website where you put a photo and a list and then it has a dotted area here for drawing or notes or whatever so I've already made one for that and I made one that's a reading log for the summer to put all the books that we read in the summertime so I have already made more. And this one, I tested the limits. This is <laughs> 35 pieces of paper and one sheet of cardstock and a sheet of vellum. And I did get the 110 18 jeans needle through it, but I had to use my sewing machine and actually dial the oh, needle in and out. I couldn't do it with the pedal in the top. Wow. Yeah, so that's my project. Let me see, I'm gonna get the questions out. Amazing, love it. <laughs> how did you make it? I used my sewing machine. Do you like how it turned out? I loved it. I've been wanting to make my own version of these because I buy them from Etsy before with different designs and stuff and different sizes. And now I know I can just make them myself. So how long did it take you to, oh, one thing I did learn from YouTube, God bless YouTube, to make it so that it really lies flat is after you stitch it, I took the bone folder and you go page by page, start in the back, oh, crease wow. the paper here, turn it one page, crease the paper again, flip it to the front, yeah. Yeah. the same thing and go back and forth, back and forth until you get to the middle and then they will lie flat. I learned that from YouTube. So it took, I did it in a couple stages. I printed them, I counted out all the insert pieces of paper, stacked them all up. Then I sewed them one afternoon and clipped the corners. And then I spent actually like, <laughs> I always laugh because I always measure things for craft exchange in, TV shows, but I stood in front of the TV and <laughs> I did the thing with the bone folder to make them all lie flat is like three shows worth. So that's how long it takes. Wow. Um, <laughs> oh, and then Delilah has two different ones that are Delilah. If you don't follow Sevi's Instagram is raising snails in a really cute little habitat. So I decided to make her some larger format ones. Says Delilah, she means me. <laughs> so you guys try it. draw some pictures in there and or put some photographs or something to keep track of your 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 we're uh, totally gonna do that because this these are too cool yeah i found that graphic online and i was like oh my gosh i have to use that for that one so okay so where did you get your supplies <laughs> um the only thing i bought was the jeans needle and the cardstock for the outside. And I bought both of those of Joann's. How much did each item cost? Not very much. I had the paper for the inside and I already had the thread and stuff. What's the hardest part about it really was learning about what needle to use on a regular sewing machine, not like an industrial sewing machine of how to sew through paper. What would you do different next time? Nothing. Would you make it again? I already have. And anything that you would do differently? Yes. Yeah. So when you put the paper in there and then you fold it, you have to trim it. I use my rotary cutter to trim it and it trims off a little bit so it makes the image in the front, not in the center. And I know no one else sees it, but my graphic designer brain sees that it's not quite in the center. So. I would move the image over a little bit to be able to, so that when you trimmed off the extra on the side, it still stayed in the center. Cause like the paper, when you fold it gets, is less than the outside. So you have to trim it down a little bit. So it's all even and it makes the, the front not centered. <laughs> so that's the thing I would do differently. And I think that's it. Those are amazing. My mind is so impressive. So, so fun. This is Leslie. Hi. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hi, ladies. Of course, I picked something I've never done before. So I did uh, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park because I'm here in Tennessee. And I don't know if you guys have heard about the unusual, we have a huge firefly thing that happens end of May, 1st of July. It's a habitat of firefly mating. And it's like 
ridiculous to get to go see them because it's one of the second habitats only in the world. Yes. So I got River Rock, the mandala paintings, but oh, it's glow in the dark. But they glow in the dark. What? Wow. Which oh, okay. the yeah. fire. So fun. They're, they're, they represent the fireflies that show up here oh, yeah. every, for uh, you know two or three weeks uh, in the year, use into May or. Oh, so, and you don't have to fly if you just like just yeah. you have, have to, uh, like have them on your counter or whatever. They will glow. Oh, is I know, oh, God, God, God. God. So that's so cool. Thank you. Of course, I don't know what kind of glow in the dark paint. Oh, sorry, my dog is. Um, what kind of glow in the dark paint did you use? It was just regular, like glow in the dark paint. I got like at Michael's. I don't know the name brand. And like a little four ounce. Yeah, a little four ounce jar that I got. So I didn't. I made sure not to get the the head, no black light, just the glow in the dark. So if you just have it on a table or in a kitchen or whatever, uh, where there's natural sunlight, it was just still glow. It doesn't require a black light. So. Okay, so how long did it take you to do each one? So I started like right after we finished the last craftness because <laughs> I, some, I haven't done the mandala paintings before, the dot painting, which was like the main thing. I, I had to practice rock, which I just did because it's just dot painting, which is if you've never done it, I highly recommend it. It's very therapeutic and meditating to get the like the little perfect dot and they come in like little plastic uh, rods. You can get probably wooden ones too, but it's the perfect little circles. And so it, it took a lot more slowing down and a little more <laughs> feeling one with it to get the dot. <laughs> and then at the end, I dotted the glow in the dark paint to the end just for the fire. It's so, so cool. Thank you. I mean, it was cool before you said it glowed in the dark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does glow in the dark. So. That's amazing. Okay, okay would you do them again? Time. I will definitely do more. It's on my list to do. I'm going to put them all in my uh, backyard in Gordon. And I made one for everyone here, too. Because uh, I will definitely do it a lot more. So. I spent oh, about I love that. I love that. That's so cool. Would you do anything differently if you did it again? I would probably get more kinds of paint, colors of paint, because I had some paint in that Hobby Lobby and they had the, you know, 40% off. So I grabbed a bunch, but I wish I had just a little more different colors, probably. That's something I would do different is to have a more rainbowy or uh, not the same kind of color. Did you shellac or anything? I did shellac them. They're already sealed and you can put them outside or inside or whatever. I love those. Those are so cool. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you. Hope you like them. If, okay, so if you next next up, up, hold them up to a light and then you'll see them glow. So I checked them all after I sealed them to make sure they still glow. So they should glow. Oh, she even QC'd she them. That's awesome. <laughs> make sure. They're good. Okay, awesome. I'm new to this. It's my first experience. I didn't know. I just kind of did like a few different things and then like one particular thing for someone else. So everybody's got the same thing. This is like a so whole exchange in one box. It's amazing. So for everyone, I made a wrapping paper, plant markers to mark your plant. Oh what did I make? I can't even remember. <laughs> With my name. That is awesome. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. I made these bags out of Nathan. She made them. Yes. She made them. Yes. Cute. Made them. Okay, you are yeah. awesome. This is crazy. Okay, I can't oh follow God. her. That's this is amazing. That's you. Super cute. These are adorable. Plant oh, markers. But I didn't get the clear E600. Sorry about that. I forgot. I didn't know it would be really like. I'm apologizing because these, these are, are adorable. So oh, oh, okay, let me see what else so is in here. We're, we're just first opening together. Okay, did uh, you uh, you knit or crochet this? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really, really beautiful. Okay, I'm glad you love it. Bags. Dishcloth, yeah. washcloth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You have to share some of those. Why don't you just start crafting it and not stop? Because so I well, know. I need free therapy, so that's good. <laughs> 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 I'm 
podcast. Of course I'll do it again. I'll do it all day, tomorrow, every day. <laughs> and I've got to finish Robin's because Robin has a bingo set she's going to tell you about. Uh, <laughs> so everyone got the same thing, except for I did something different for everyone for their main thing. River oh, River Rock Bingo. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, and let me tell you something about this, Paula. Yeah. That my great great aunt uh, tatted that. I've got a ton of them. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah. So wow. this is an antique. It's an antique. Oh, wow. And yeah. I just <laughs> attached it and act like I did something. It is great. Thanks for having me in your group. I didn't know how the thing went, so I just kind of like went with it. Like oh, I love time. it. I'm, I love it. Yay! Yay. Awesome. I just want everybody to see I this pattern. Really Instead of washcloths, I got an infinity yeah. scarf because it gets cold in Chicago. That's what her it note does. Is. I love it. Uh -huh. So okay, so this is something that I wanted to do for a long time: is paint pouring. Oh, yeah. oh, I had never done it before. Fine. So the whole idea was to give you a ticket box. You know, like I have a box I put all of my tickets oh, in. Yes. So every time you went to a national oh, park, you would put your tickets yeah. in it. Oh, that's cool. But Beautiful. the topper didn't work. And so then I tried to find paper that sort of went. Anyway, so these are cigar boxes. It's beautiful. And while it seems like this was really simple, it actually was a multi-step process because so this was supposed to go on top. It was supposed to go on top or inside. So cigar boxes, some of them had like their logo burned into it. So I had to go over it with joint filler to make it smooth before I painted it. And then I did this for the first time on top. It's so beautiful. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And it is really sealed. Pretty. Okay, so this was my first one that I tried. And this was a little kit from Five Below. And it actually you turned out pretty good. Calls. But then I got really brave after I did all of these. So I want to show you what I did yesterday. I want it. Oh. oh. That's <laughs> so I don't know if you guys on there can see it, but this is a glass. That's bowl beautiful. that's like cut with different like it's show me inside you can tell that it's got Chinese. you can kind of see the texture like part of it's swirled and part of it's like a geometric design and so i paint poured it that's beautiful. and then i finished the edges with a gold paint pen and so i would totally do this again and you know what i would do well, i would have done this as your project but this was my fourth attempt at the project so you got number three did you use paint on the glass or did you use the same oh, wait. one Hold on. did you sorry, use what? a different paint on the glass or did you use the same one that you used on the wood is it like a special pouring medium or is it a, did you use something different on the glass so i bought all the things for this project let me tell you <laughs> okay um but i ended up using the pouring paint that's already mixed but I had also bought the silicone oil to give it like bubbles, bubbles nice. and like cells. all of that cells. And I didn't use any of that. Okay. This is just the pouring paint. And I will cover this one with like a high gloss mm -hmm. yeah. finish, yeah. but all I had was matte and I didn't want to do matte on that one, but these have all been sprayed with like a matte yeah. finish. Yeah. So, yeah. and I tried to do colors that reminded me yeah. of like mountains, yeah. water, yeah. Rocks and how did you isolate just the box top? Yes, so that was fun. Oh. I <laughs> covered the entire thing with painter's tape, yeah. and so some of them, uh, well, actually, I didn't cover the bottom, so then I had to go back and spray some of the bottoms. Oh. But I covered all of the edges with painter's tape, so when it would drip down, it would it could go on the sides, but then when you let it drip, you put it like on. You raise it up so it'll just drip off. But some of them did go underneath or like when I tripped over it and I had to pick it up and I had paint on my hands. So this, I didn't like this theme at all. So I'll just say, I mean, I love the idea of the theme, but I had the worst time coming up with a project and executing on it. So would I do it again? I would not do anything with national parks again, but I would do paint pouring again. Yes, and it was cheap and easy. I would totally do it again, but I would do it like on, like I really like the way this bowl turned That's out. I thought gorgeous. that was kind of fun. Yeah, the gold turned out well, 
And so I used a paint pen for that that I was really happy with. So this I would absolutely do again. And I'll probably go back because this was a $1.50 bowl at Daiso. And I had all of the paint already. So I think it's going to look really cool with the high gloss. So. I love when yeah. crafts spread. When somebody tries it and it spreads. Started with this. <laughs> Ended with this. <laughs> anyway, so, so yes, I can hear you now. And remember how I told you that that box you sent me looked like it got run over? This one also did. Oh, wow. uh, but I think it's probably okay, right? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> oh, wow. Don't oh. That. Oh my god. <laughs> that means the ladder is going to take it from me. I'm so mad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh! oh my god. Shut the door! Oh, shut shut the door! Shut the door! Oh my gosh. So cute. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dog, you're so talented. You're so adorable. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, which one do you want? No, I crochet. That's no. Nice. Oh, they're crochet. Yes. Yes. Which oh, one do you want? Okay. I'll have the brown. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, who made that? Oh my god, so <laughs> precious. <laughs> Dude, okay. okay, okay. So tell us, tell us about your bears. I made them for Teddy Rosa, the Teddy Bear National Parks. So, great smudge down. Yeah. Right there. And I had to do different colors because Robert told me I had to do different bears for every park. So, there's a polar bear, a brown bear, a black bear. And I forgot the gray one. It was some bear that Robert came up with. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so how long would it take you to do each one? I love it. I don't know. It was like uh, maybe a great one. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. How much? You say a week? Yeah. A week for each bear. Yeah. I just, I watch TV while I do it. I can't just watch TV. How many was it? Yeah. I don't know. Five billion. Yeah. It was the whole shameless, <laughs> the whole series of shameless. Yeah. Was, um, what was the hardest part about it? And the brown bear, it has like movable joints and I saw that. Oh these little things that you're supposed to put it on and literally Robert and Kirsch were like, pressing with all their might to get that on because they're really hot. So I would not use those again. I have a whole box of them if anybody wants them, but it literally, I mean, they took like an hour trying to get those limbs on. I'm like, no, you have to, you cannot stop. You have to attach them. It's about to get a lot of love. <laughs> yeah, she, I mean, that settled her down right away. Good job, Dawn. She sat down for like three minutes yeah. straight. I don't know. She doesn't want to have it. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I'm so I want to trade you. So cute. Did you name them? No. Black bear, brown bear, white yeah. bear, gray bear. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Got it. I'm probably going to name it. Brown bear, white bear. Okay. Laura's an architect. An in interior designer. An interior cool. designer. So if gorgeous. If I ever give in to my husband wanting oh. to move to the beach, it's going to be in Hawaii. Wow. That's a deal. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. This is yeah. amazing. This is like the first place, right? I love it. Oh, oh, oh. So I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. KT, can you see this? Yeah, that's Where'd you get the fabrics? And look at the back. Amazing. This is beautiful. Okay, so tell us. Okay, so I started planning these with my little notebook. And I I don't know if you guys remember, but I asked each of the girls what was your favorite park or you know environment. And so then I went online and I found these images are actually vintage postcards from the park. <laughs> And so there's a, a fantastic site online that has just hundreds and hundreds of these vintage post images and you just for a few dollars you buy the image and they send them directly to you as you know a JPEG. That's fantastic. So then I was able to print it, the image and the little label on the back, I was able to print those on my inkjet printer onto double fabric. And then I took the images with me to a quilt store in Plano called Not Your Mama's Quilt Store. <laughs> <laughs> I will plug them all day long. They're fabulous. Oh and I God. took these back and showed them and they freaked out. They oh, I'm sure. so excited. Yeah. I'm sure. Because they remembered me. Yeah. I, was, I had this yeah. National Park thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I had them on my phone. I had all the images and I walked around the store and we yeah, picked sure. out all the fabric. 
for each, you know, each culture. I think what I enjoyed about each of these is the, the, uh, the little um, pieced quilted inset design. I sort of used that as an opportunity to interpret the place and the, the image from the postcard. Yeah, I love that. So, Gosh, and then, yeah, you, yeah, no, thank you, Laura. It's so nice to put the image you with the face. I know I got your uh, text on, you know, what's your favorite parks, but it's so nice to see you. And thank you so much. It's gorgeous. I love it. Uh, you did a lot of work. Up. So I did them. I was trying to figure out how long did it take me to do each one? Yeah. I'm like, I don't <laughs> oh, know. Like, a year. Like three months. <laughs> I don't even know. But so I did all the fronts, you know, I designed and printed and built. And so I did all the fronts and I was like, oh. Oh, I still have to do backs. And I still have to, oh shoot, I still have to quilt these, and because I, I was so pleased with the fronts, and then I thought, uh oh, I can't just send them like raw edges and nothing on the back. So I would still love it. <laughs> I would do. Yes. Oh, so the, 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 the initial inspiration was that they were going to be mug rugs, and oh, so I, you know, yeah. because when you go to to a park, you know, that's kind of the fun thing is you have your coffee or your hot yes. chocolate, right? And then, the vintage postcard idea came about just because, of course, when Jeez. you go to a park, you postcards, right? yeah. and then the interpretation Beautiful. piece, you know, I've been to lots of parks, but some of them I haven't been to in 10 or 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. And so my memory is slightly abstracted. And so I think we all visit a place and take away certain things. And so the abstracted piece is kind of, you know, it's the interpretation and sort of represents the memory. Yeah. Oh. They have a layer of cotton batting and a layer of the thermal oh, stuff. You so you, yeah, you can use it as a hot pad. I know. It's like you, you feel guilty yes. for using it, but the, the oh, thing no. is, you can use it. Yeah, I'm going to have to put this on. And so the two that I sent, and I think yours That's and yours, I actually and already washed them. Okay. That's why they have the kind of quilted, yeah. crinkly yeah. look. <laughs> so we use them. I they're, will use They're it. meant awesome. to be used. I, the um, fun things I really enjoyed about this, and I absolutely would do it again, is each image gave me an image so, in my mind yeah. like yeah. yours specifically i was like i have to do the diagonals wow. because oh, the mountain wow. and the trees like yes. what's the mountain? yeah yes. and same with yours yeah. with kind of the, like, the layering like sunset yeah, yeah the layering of the it does yeah and then, and then i had even more fun on the back so Ooh, the back yeah i know i love all the bold colors it's it's gorgeous beautiful work Okay, so this thank you for giving me the opportunity to pitch myself oh, and do it. You, okay. <laughs> there's two names on these, and there's one extra, so. There you go. Oh my gosh, I love the way this smells. Tell you anything about it? No, she didn't. I, I don't know anything. Little <laughs> <laughs> It smells amazing. Yeah. I have like little baby pine cones. Oh. Yeah, I have one pine cone and a cedar ball. Oh, you have a bunch of pine cones. It's it's a, it's a potpourri, I think. A potpourri, maybe? Oh, I love it. It smells amazing. It smells well, hopefully she'll fill us in on that because that's... It's really cool. Oh, yeah, it smells like... Oh, yeah. It smells potpourri. Like okay. maybe potpourri. Yes, it does. Mm, it's delicious. Did you do that fancy writing? With the cricket. I'm gonna write the sticker in it. I too had trouble with my grandiose plans. I was gonna do some silk screening on glass. I'm still gonna do that one of these days. It didn't work out. Ooh. But you can go ahead and open them. It's mixed media is the best term for me to use for it. It does have a glass component in it. <laughs> okay. I made one for myself. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. This is amazing. Okay, so I just read yours. <laughs> I wanted to send you all these, but I didn't want anyone to be offended. That's my sense of humor right there. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> I was like, that is okay, heavy right there. I'm taking video because I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
one. Like, hole two. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right, hold yeah. yeah. So I made cactuses. So, uh, but so Big Bend so National Park has yeah, 60 like varieties of cactuses. <laughs> None of them look like these. <laughs> They're all amazing. They're incredible. They were fun. Actually, I love them. I don't really like them. Yeah, but I don't like them. It happens yeah. every time. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> the, this MDF frame or whatever this is, I bought a $15 grab bag at it. Michael's it and it had about 25 of these in it with the sayings like knitter's gonna knit, uh, DIY or die. So I painted over them and then I made the glass cactuses and I embellished them with beads and rhinestones and little tiny pieces of glass. And I printed the uh, don't be a prick or whatever the other ones are. Life is like a cactus or no pet, no, don't sit on that. I printed those out on, they're just decals. So you could peel it off and change it to whatever you want it to be. But yeah. Do you have a picture of all of them? Thank you for, I do not have a picture of all of them because as I mailed them out, I made more. It was like the you ladies that I mailed to get the first one. I made, these are what my components look like beforehand. They're just plain little glass cactuses. But then I bought, well, and I also made a bunch of little glass nuggets. I don't know if you can see these. They're just little tiny pieces of glass. And I bought these flower beads. And I bought these things right here. And I peeled the flowers off. Wow. To try to match the other flowers. Amazing. I just. So, I wish I would have flower beads. It is absolutely amazing. It's Thank you very much. It I is one of my favorite like that I you've done too. I love it. I love this so much. This is like so all it. Sue stuff. It's so fun. And so it's fun. from Pop on Pop. Yeah. No, Pat. No, don't sit on that. <laughs> love it. There you are. So, That's so it cost me the grab box was $15 and it had a whole bunch of other stuff in it, like bags and zipper pouches and. 25 of these nice. <laughs> so they were nothing uh the beads i had to buy and the rhinestones i had to buy but the glass is all scrap uh, and it's even glass that i don't normally use someone had given it to me they were cleaning out a shop and it's not compatible with all the other glass so it sits wow. separate and i thought okay i'll use that up love it. There i love it so so they turned yeah. out so good so amazing and the way you painted it it's beautiful. Yeah, well, it's they're so cute. Not painful. That's the whole. As I go, as I do these, they all change. It's they're like, perfect. oh, I like that, but I think I can do better. Another I, like I have this cute one. It says, "Life is like a cactus, thorny but beautiful." I love it. I like. I said I had to trade for the don't be a prick. <laughs> just, I'm hanging this in my entryway in my gallery wall. So cute. <laughs> so. Um, I did mine. We don't really, well, we used to go camping all the time when we were kids because we had like 18 cousins and my aunts, like we couldn't afford really to go on vacation and stuff. So my parents used to always take us camping with like all of our 15 cousins. But uh, my parents are like super hippies. And so my mom used to always make like these little bundles and like throw them in the campfire, but they're to keep the mosquitoes away. So I made two different ones. There's some like some little tight ones. I was getting my uncle's, they're Kiowa, and so he was kind of giving me a tutorial, but I suck at making these. So anyway, they're, so these, like the little ones, have lavender, sage, peppermint, and then the dried rose petals. And then the bigger bundles just have the sage and the lavender. My uncle sent me like some smudge sticks that are like, yeah, so they're, the it has the white sage in here because i like we just broke them in pieces because we were trying to figure out how to do them like this but mine didn't come out as nice as his did so i just put it in there since i don't want to waste it but the the best thing to do my mom gets the they make like these little citronella candles at like dollar tree 
they're like super tiny. They're like mosquito eaters or something. Yeah. But before you put these in the fire, if you like light that candle and then like stick it in the candle wax, mm -hmm. then they'll like burn forever. But I just got these because I figured you might not all go camping, but like you can put these in like the fire pit yeah. or whatever, yeah. or Love you can that. even put them in the bucket. It's so <laughs> cute. And, it's, and they'll, they'll just go forever. But it's supposed to be like the hippie version of bug spray, but Love it works. It. I know. Know. Nice to get it. And then I have my little nephew help me. We bought these, um, they're all stickers from the, the national parks. Mm -hmm. And then my little nephew helped me stick Cute. the stickers on it. Super him. fun. Oh my gosh. Love it. I we love took everything like about that. One million hours to make. <laughs> <laughs> Highly don't recommend. Because you can buy the bundles for like three for like ten dollars. But I mean it was it was fun to like hang out with my uncle on Zoom and, and do these because we haven't they live in Oklahoma, so we haven't really seen it much. So, but so these took forever, these little ones, because I didn't really plan it out and so like you had to like hold it all weird and then like wrap it and then hold it. So that's why I only made two of those. But these were these were easy. I bought the lavender on Amazon. We got like two big like bushels of it for like 15 bucks. Yeah. Well, okay, what would you do differently next time? Not make them. Take a different crap? No. Yeah. No, I mean, it was hard because we had it. I didn't want to get the white sage. I got the green one because like the, you know, I was like trying not to be like culturally appropriating all their smudge sticks but so I got the green one so you had to like wait for it to dry out and it took like forever to dry out and we actually got one and I left it in the bundle and so then the middle was like getting gross so we had to like throw it out and buy more and then Aww. spread it all over the counter my husband was like when is this done <laughs> could, you, could you have used a food dehydrator maybe probably I just yeah I'm just thinking yeah I don't, we don't own one but I was yeah. thinking like what would be a quicker right. way to it's dry this stuff so out human. yeah and yeah. then it rained yeah. for like a month straight so and, and then I smell so amazing and then I, I think we got these like wow. dried flowers off of like Amazon probably we, my kid had them in her drawer like her craft stuff so I'm like I'm using these <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. Our, it's our common theme, and you have two things in your you two things in your bag. So the one is wooden. Oh, yeah. the bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have a wooden that is. Oh, see, this is a much better use of wood slices than what I tried to do today. Well, this is beautiful. Throw that in a fire. I, I started these wood slices three or four years ago for Christmas and it didn't work, so they've been drying in my basement. That's amazing. Um, and That's beautiful. Sort of a scene of the Smokies with the layers of the, tri oh, the mountains are what we love. Shit. That's so, beautiful. <laughs> I was, I was a fire starter. Fire starter. Fire starter. Fire starter. I would read it. Yeah, I would read it. These two. And, it the, and the other fire starter that um, is humbly made, humbly made, I oh, was trash. It's drier <laughs> linen and wax. Yeah. Is it really dryer linen like wax? It is a toilet paper yeah. tube. I love, I love it. your hey, 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 I'm talking. Um, toilet paper tube yeah, with yeah. stuff with dryer and and candle, left for candle wax. Wrapped oh, yeah. in so, so when they ask you at the post office if it's flammable, I hope it is, but I did not tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't admit it. <laughs> and the paper is so fun. Fabulous. Right. Kristen mm -hmm. only got paper like this, well, but um, yeah. <laughs> right. yes. Okay. Oh. So everything is free. It, it costs nothing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> really is trash. All Let me draw. Paper turn it. I want her to sign this. Okay. Find me a. Oh, I, you gave me a sharpie. <laughs> 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 it's so fun. I love it. It's going on my little So wall. fun and practical. Yeah. Except yeah. I don't want to burn it. <gasps> What's that? I just, yeah, it's my know. tag and it makes me happy. This is fine. I like the only, only you. you. <laughs> Mine's yeah. smoky. Yeah. So if you so. burn them, let me know how it works. Okay. So it That's took perfect. about one afternoon for each project, I guess, because the tree was already cut. I love it. And they're not sealed. I don't know if they should be. I can see. But and so hang it where you want to. Would you do it again? Yeah, I might do it again. I thought the theme was great because you have you're wide open, and by evidence here, we had so many great ideas, and it's so inspiring. But I, I, I will make my own fire starters. Thanks for watching. Again, if you like the video, give it a 
thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. Thanks so much.